Okay. Woo. What's up, guys? Welcome for uh, another episode. I've been trying to uh, familiarize my uh, this uh, new trike here that I've been, you know, riding for a couple of days now. And the next thing to do is that we need to familiarize with uh, the buttons here. <laughs> I remember when I was uh, testing the the trike. I did all the, whole, the whole thing right and then after that one I got the bike and it's time for me to to go back home and then I couldn't reverse it <laughs> can you just imagine that? nobody teach me how to, to do it but anyway this is gonna be the purpose of uh, this video here we're gonna do the familiarization of the buttons and uh, hopefully the app too okay <laughs> and I am in the middle of the heat here I kind of like missed it it's been chilly in the past uh, weeks but we got this now okay so let's start with uh, you know familiarization of the screen and this is it I went inside the garage so that you can see it well but this is gonna be the screen and when you start the uh, the engine there's gonna be the buttons here and when you switch the key to on it will pop up a warning and the first thing you're gonna do is that you have to cancel it and you have to press the mode and when it's gone then that's the time you can turn on the uh, red switch and then the ignition Okay, let's start the engine. There's a FedEx here. <laughs> okay, so, yep. Let's uh, turn this on. This will go up if you have it set like that. You have to clear the warning by pressing the mode button. It's already cleared now. Step on the brake, turn on the switch for the power, and then start. So when you're about to go, you have to clear the parking, which is the red uh, it's a point there. You can clear it by pressing the P here, and there's no uh, red icon there anymore. So you can switch to one, and then that's your first gear, and then you can go. And then it's time for us to reverse. How to do the reverse? All you need to do is uh, press the R here and the minus button at the back, right? So press it together. And now it's R. And now you can reverse now. And every time you uh, go, you have to make sure that the parking is off. If you're done with your ride, then you have to put it back. So press the key here. And as you can see, the red icon is back there now. So that's how you start the engine and reverse also. Okay, next thing is that we're gonna need to see the switches. So let's uh, familiarize the buttons here on the left. What we have here is the mode button where you can uh, clear the warning and then go to eco mode. This is gonna be the parking. This is gonna be the multimedia button. 
signal light switch which is typical for a motorcycle these are the headlights uh, high low and then the blinker and then uh, this is what I always make a mistake of the horn sometimes I press this but they sometimes I press this and this is gonna be the volume for the stereo or the speakers at the back there's also a uh, switch here is for your uh, cell phone apps or you know the cell phone uh, button and minus for the gear and then the other side is the plus this is your uh, right switches hazard power button or kill switch also yeah. this is for the cruise control you uh, turn it on by putting it here and you set it going downward or upward and then this is going to be the start for the engine and we can stop by making sure that you have the park here and all you can do is just kill the switch here and then that's it as you've noticed uh, I uh, killed the switch with the reverse gear there on but you can actually uh, turn off the engine by whether if you're in the first gear or reverse so that's still okay so let's connect the uh, app to the motorcycle and you have to do is uh, download the BRP app in your Apple store or Android store and which I already did already which is this one here let's open the app and here it is I have not set up this yet so I have this stand here on my uh, right side I'm gonna put the phone there so that you can see it there you go you have to connect the phone to your motorcycle through the USB to do now <laughs> there you go get the wire there and connect the phone to the bottom okay Don't mind it. so to connect the phone you have to start the it's either you have to start the engine or turn on the electricity and that's the time you can see the screen turning on and then you have to go to the settings so click the uh, left app button so that it can display the uh, menu for the multimedia and look for the settings so when you're in the setting you have to look for the phone and connect your phone there and don't be surprised if your phone I mean the cell phone will turn dead because you cannot use it anymore you go, have to go to the the screen after that one so I actually had a hard time uh, using the app I had troubles with it so for now I'm just gonna give you the connection for the for the phone uh, in the setting and that's it for now I'm gonna try to uh, familiarize the app and I'm gonna make a separate video for it okay because I want to give it to you really clear so uh, that's gonna be on the reason why you have to subscribe to my channel I'm trying to reach 2,000. Hopefully you'll help me with it. So that's gonna be it. Okay, so there you go. That's gonna be the uh, whole video for today. I hope I am able to uh, give you some ideas. Actually, I was uh, searching the YouTube and I don't see any, you know, credible video about how to to start everything. And uh, there's another holiday.
<laughs> so hopefully I, I get this better. <laughs> okay? So stay tuned for more, okay? Thank you very much and till next time. Bye-bye.